What's up guys and welcome back to another eBay miniature rescue. Today we're going to work on these 10 Chaos Space Marines sent in by Robert Phillips. So Robert sent these in because this was a 10 man squad that he used to use in 6th edition 40k as a renegade chapter and now the same options aren't available for Chaos Space Marines so they've just been sitting on a shelf and they haven't been finished being painted. So he hit me up over email and asked if I would kindly save his miniatures. Without further ado, we're going to start with Vallejo Surface Primer Black, followed by a pretty liberal coat of gloss varnish to set us up for some really cool color shifting paints. Coming in with Green Stuff World's color shifting paint, Emerald Getaway, we're going to layer this over the glossy finish of this Space Marine. And we're going to do it really slow, because the slower you go and you let those small layers dry, the better that color shift is going to turn out. And a few of the models that I did with this, it didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. And I did notice that the more that I did it and got used to it, that it was getting a better and better result. So just remember, if you're going to use any kind of color shifting paint, just make sure it's over a black undercoat with a really glossy finish and work it up as slow and be patient with it and you'll get a really good result. Now coming in with some lead belcher, I'm going to go over all the trim and the stuff on the gun that needs to be silver. And I want to put a lot of this on the model because I think it's going to balance out that color shift nicely. Coming in with a bad and black, I'm just going to fill in the rest of the details on the model. And I want to bring in this black because it's going to give a little more contrast and balance out all of the metallics across the whole model. moot green as a spot color that I'm just going to place on some of the little adornments across each one of the models just to kind of tie everything together and bring in a little more of that Alpha Legion green. So I decided to use a black oil wash for these Chaos Space Marines and that's for a couple different reasons. The first being that the oil wash goes on to pretty much any Space Marine really well because they have these nice defined areas where that wash is supposed to go. So just barely touching the model with an oil wash allows the wash to just go into those recesses and not stain anything around the model. So that's going to maintain a cleanliness for these Alpha Legion Marines. The other reason is I just didn't want to use a traditional wash and ruin 
the Green Stuff World color shifting paints by staining them. And just as a heads up, if you're curious about how to make an oil wash, what to buy and how to, you know, put it all together, I just did a video about it, so I will leave a link. Now that that wash is dry, I'm going to come in with Rune Fang Steel and just brighten up all of the silver. So the other week when I put these models up in that, that subscriber choice, uh, a few different people said they wanted me to do these Space Marines because it, you know, it brought back a lot of memories for them. And for me too, it, it really brings me back to that fourth edition book, you know, when I was learning how to play and I was always against Chaos Space Marines and not, not against the models or the army, but the friend that I had that I played with was Chaos Space Marines. And at the time, I just thought they were the coolest army. Like, the book they had with that dude on the front that I don't even know his name. And, I don't know, there's just so much about these models that just brings all of that back. And I'm really enjoying painting these. So I just wanted to say thank you, Robert, for sending these because it's just flooding me with all of these different emotions and it's it's a weird thing <laughs> yeah it's just i don't know what what kind of armies you know do you have those kind of memories of let me know down in the comments so robert i just wanted to say thank you again for sending these models it really brought out a lot, you know, and I got to try some new things that I hadn't done before, and I just hope that you enjoy the outcome. This was a really interesting video for me to make for a couple different reasons. A lot of it being that nostalgia, that just bringing back a lot of those old memories of learning 40k and, and playing and getting into war games and the hobby. And you know, seeing these models come to life again just brings everything back and reminds me why I started even playing in the first place. Thank you again for joining me on another eBay Miniature Rescue. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And don't forget, let me know down in the comments what's your most nostalgic Warhammer army. It would be interesting to know how much of it actually came from probably 4th edition, would be my guess. I think a lot of people started playing back then, and it would just be a fun conversation. Thanks again, I'm Casey, and I will see you in the next video.